Hi everyone, my name is Tygen. Some of you know me as a kinetics man. Today I would like to talk about the internet, new area of internet, DeFi, Intense, where we are now and what we are building in DeFi and how the DeFi affected uh, on a like, whole system of entire system of internet and what we are in kinetics to here. So I will start from the beginning because organizers they give me 20 minutes I need to spend it right let's take a look um, on the early stage of the internet how it was uh, difficult to create a website I even don't say about the, to like build or develop some software it was possible only for big companies and uh, <coughs> let's let's take a look of the evolution of internet so Everything starts from ARPANET and uh, TCP, IP, Ethernet. We start to building <coughs> manufacturing for computers, for mobile. <coughs> Sorry for that. For mobile. One of the biggest push which was happened uh, in our century is uh, email and DNS. It's uh, when we start to like to translate, move dat data instantly, and uh, worldwide web. So I know a lot of people say that uh, crypto is a speculation, but if you take a look on the history, the boom of dot com, it was also speculation. That's how we can attract attention of uh, key uh, partners like uh, developers, venture capitalists, users for mass adoption. After this, uh, during the 40 years, the internet was extremely um, developed, so we got like a lot of things which was not comfortable. And it's not possible to understand right now our life without this. It's like a search engine mechanism, mobile, internet data, web 2, infrastructure, clouds, everything like this. And if you take a look uh, where we are right now, around us is uh, AI, robotics, IoT, quantum computing, but it's still not uh, enough. As we can see, uh, during this evolution, uh, most of the companies, like OG companies, uh, they, they get control of the data and the technologies, but if we talk about the technologies like AI, um, social system, banking system, Robotics is could be really dangerous that a few companies just control it in, in their hands. So that's why we need to have a decentralized technology and distributed networks. For example, how how the internet looks right, right now for us. For example, if I wanted to do any searches in the internet. I need to open uh, hundreds of websites. I need to analyze all the info by myself to get where is the fake, where is the sponsored, which one is true. And I always need to play with the wording. So the same is like a, with the AI. I need to put exactly the name like of my, my request and get, get the result. I'm not sure that this is a perfect system or ideal system. And uh, if, we will, if we would like to talk about the, how the system probably will look in the future and what's the like, ideal model of this. So we in Kinetics believe that it will be a modular and intent-based system. Where is the top level? It's uh, applications. Applications can be anyone. So we can go out of the web free. It's also we can used in a... Uh, it can be synchronized with the traditional economics, so we can use like a taxi service, real estate, uh, some e-commerce, infrastructure, whatever. The next level is a delegation, and we call it intents. So it's, uh, the meaning of this is when I can ask somebody, like a professional market maker or so professional player, to help solve me my task with the guarantee. Uh, after this, going level of AI agents, because AI agents they cannot work right now independently. So we need to monitor, focus them, and we need to learn them. The, the layer of infrastructure where the AIs can be run is uh, blockchains. So it's 
some kind of layer where we can execute everything. And under the hood, it's um, like government's layer with the consensus of, of verification. Let's take a deep limb. So what is this? Why we need the intents in this? For example, I have a request. Uh, and uh, I don't want to really go deeply and understand how all the complex things working, for example, for me, if I want to receive like a passive income. I want to send this, I want to send my intent to the auction where the like professional players, they can start a competition in an auction and provide me with a quote, like quote of the bid. As soon, uh, as, soon as we match the order, uh, before the user sign it, we need to be, be sure that my intent is secured and solvers, they are provide the collateral. The next level, the solvers, they can use the help of AI agent. So they can help them to like, analyze a lot of data, use the search mechanism to develop the code, execute the code, and uh, make it more efficient. After this, we can go to the level of execution. Uh, in my opinion, right now, the blockchain is uh, some kind of part of speculations because uh, we're not enough get from this technology. And as soon as we get enough, it, it probably will be on a state of, uh, in, in a level of state. So, for example, like when the governments, they can start to creating their own digital currency like euro, dollars, yen or whatever. And inside this blockchain, the company, they will do their own solutions which can be built on all the like type of uh, business what we have right now is like similar like World Wide Web, but with more functionality. And uh, the level of ZK is uh, we need it because uh, all the data in the blockchain it's uh, public and transparent. So we need to provide the privacy for this and make it more confidential. But this ZK stuff is not only for uh, for the confidentials is, for example, like if we take a look what's happened right now with the Saxon Labs uh, platform, they create amazing solution like SP1 when I can, for example, use my basic calculator. I do a lot of calculation stuff uh, during the whole day. Next day, my partner can ask me like, what, what is the result? I say, I get result X, Y, Z. And he said, okay, I want to check it. So, but uh, I can provide for him algorithm how we can prove how I can prove all the my calculations and we don't need to do it again. So uh, that's, uh, that's the future. And if you take a look right now how the DeFi uh, looks for the like general users, it's a lot of information that they need to keep in mind. It's like uh, oracles, guess, bridging, swaps, RPC, nodes, whatever. So basically you need to have a good knowledge of Kung Fu in a DeFi to not like lost your money just in one click. And what we are doing here in the kinetics. So we are cre creating modular framework for chain abstraction applications where users can delegate their tasks. So if we take on the common DeFi problems, uh, we can manage them in a different groups. For example, users, they need to use the experimental, like experimental UI and take all the responsibility. So they need to have a good knowledge of Kung Fu in a DeFi to set all the settings like a slippage tolerance, price impact. Uh, the developers, they, they need to create an infrastructure for this. So they need to take the responsible for all the mechanism like oracles, price rate, uh, nodes, uh, they need to use a bridge system with a, and trust to like, wrap tokens. And the same problem with the networks. Networks, they all, always need to attract like, experienced users and uh, like, put all the responsibility to the users about all the sections. We, uh, I think this is not a really good solution. So for example, like, let's, take, like, let's imagine how I will move my assets, for example, like in a some rest taking protocol if I have like Solana or Bitcoin, let's say. So I need to switch wallets, find the bridge. I need to bridge my asset to another network. I also need to keep a guess, pay for the guess, set all the settings. After I go into do a stake, I receive my virtual token. 
Sometimes I need to wrap it. I put it in a restaking. And finally, I get my LRT token. And for example, if I use like a perfect system and I want to double my points, I need to also create a pair in a like pool of curvy. And I, exact, I, I need to know exactly how much to put, like what proportion or um, my tokens can be just moved in, in, in one token to another. And the solution, what we would like to offer, it's a, like a new generation of application which we can build. It's a chain abstraction. So chain abstraction, we call it because we don't need to uh, care, like the users, they don't need to care anymore about how to uh, like bridge and uh, how, how to communicate with all the different networks. One click because we can create any combination of intents. Gasless is because the resolvers, they also can take care about the gas. So basically, I want to express my intent. For example, I say I want to pay in A and receive a B. And resolvers, can they you do like under the hood everything just in one combined transaction across the network? And the current system is also broken for the developers. For example, when the developers uh, would like uh, to like launch some store in the Web 2, I can use a lot of solution out of the box. For example, I can use a web, 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 uh, WordPress engine to develop my uh, website just in a few weeks. After I will integrate the payment system, delivery system, and that's all. I can start to receive advertising and sell my goods. But in a DeFi, it's not look like this. In DeFi, we need to care about all the different things. It's like how to connect different wallets, how to create a contract with the audits, how to do a bridging at multi uh, multi-chain infrastructure. So this, this is the biggest problem for, for the developers. If I open the pool in the one network and I want to attract liquidity, I, I locked inside this network. So for example, it's like a new L2 network on the Bitcoin and they have no, not, not, much, not much users right now. It will be a really big problem for me. And I need to explain to all the users how to do the bridging system like previously I said it. And what we are doing, we are creating uh, interface. Interface for the developers and for the users, where you can uh, delegate and uh, create an intent-based model, which can be integrated in your any application uh, easily, just using API, so you can concentrate more on your business side and you can concentrate on the logic, uh, like what you are developing. So you can attract, for example, like it's a new L2 network on a Bitcoin, and you, can, you need to attract the new users. So you can easily integrate it in your application just in one click. The users, they can put LRT token, LST token or whatever. And they don't need to like care because everything, what we'll do, resolver, they will do with like fixed rate and without like all these Kung Fu things like a slippage. So the layer of this is on top is the user. When the user communicate with the applications, like a wallet or any protocols, and a settlement la layer, it's uh, resolvers. When the resolvers, um, like under the hood on the back end, create roles for this and algorithms how to do it. Execution level is uh, networks where we can launch it. And validation level on, on the back end where we can prove all of this information. So how how the ZK like clients work in our solution? So like in a in a simple word, we take all the historical data from the Bitcoin, and we deploy it. We shrink it to a small like client and deploy it on Agnosis network. So right now, using just a smart open so, smart contract open source, we can easily read all the state from the Bitcoin, and uh, for us, it's super cheap update in the batch mode. For example, like we can take 250, 60 blocks and upload the like 10,000 of transactions just in the one chain. In the cost of a one on-chain transaction, it's like less than one cent. All these transactions which resolvers execute, they are secured by the collateral. So this means, for example, if user wanna like swap, let's say in simple mode, 100 USDC. So the collateral 140 USDC. So it's like a 4%, 40 percentage more. And this is the institution program for liquidators. So if the resolver fail intent, they can start a new competition. And because this is an on-chain transaction, it can be done just one time. So they will start to do it as soon as possible. 
and that's how we can demotivate resolvers to make a fail of transaction and uh, create an incentivized program for, for liquidators. Right now in the kinetics we're planning to scale in um, L2 networks. We are focusing on L2 networks for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Probably in the next two months we, we, we will add most of the popular networks. And also we are open a gateway for the projects. So if you have your project and you're looking for like a TVL or you, you need to uh, attract new users from the different chains, so you can easily use our API and uh, uh, create use our infrastructure like any kind of combination of intents which resolver will 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 solve solve like a few days ago we already launched in the mainnet right now is the limit um, uh, with uh, 500 soon it will be 1000 and more and uh, for example we, we already done like integration with uh, Gnosis pay so you can easily move your Bitcoin native or any other asset from any chain directly to Euro E just in one click and you don't need to store a gas and you can delegate this to the resolver who will like launch it uh, and do all the actions on the back end. Soon we will open a public resolving so all the resolvers they can join um, and we don't require like any uh, stake for this so it will be open and public. As a result uh, we can see here Execution time is few blocks because there is no intermediaries, so we don't need to pay uh, for validators in the process of execution. So if the like user uh, asks resolver to make an intent and the resolver completed in time, we don't need to pay any intermediaries and we don't need to wait for them. The same situation with the gas cost. So usually when you do combination of dexes and bridges. Uh, your guess co will cost around like six, seven hundreds. So, but we get a, as a result like 65k guess units just for one on-chain transaction. So, two on-chain transactions around like 130k. And the same situation with the rates because we don't have uh, intermediaries like a pools, and we don't have a formula which uh, isolates inside the ecosystem. So, resolvers they can uh, provide higher uh, amounts than one uh, because they can do arbitrage strategy and they can also do a rebalancing strategy. Uh, we're planning to use a token for decentralized system. So it's like similar to POWs uh, when you spend your electricity uh, to update the state of the ZK light clients. And also we will use it for decentralized matching. So there's the, all the like match of the, of the all, all orders from the resolvers will be stayed on, on the nodes of our stakeholders. Uh, we're already live. If you will need to move your ASS instantly with, uh, without any fee and with a cheap gas, so or you will need to use the API, uh, contact me. I will happy to answer on all your questions. <laughs> But how are we going to solve the liquidity fragmentation problem? For example, I want to get around 10 millions on mode network. And your solver could have, like one solver have a 500k and another 1 million and that's all. Because how it could be done in more way to really fulfill the order, not to wait until the bridges could work and so on to deliver liquidity. Because currently what we found in Gearbox is that the lack of liquidity on the many L2 networks create a huge barrier and even liquidators, for example, who want to liquidate such big positions are in trouble and it could be solved, I believe, with intent. Um, if, if we talk about the biggest amount, like uh, millions and hundred millions, uh, we have solution, but it's not in the current version. So the, the current version is more like adoption of intents, and our focus is uh, to create a gateway possibility to use the project with a framework. 
uh, and not build all the multi-chain infrastructure. But uh, we will, we were thinking about this problem for a long time, and we have also a solution. Uh, this solution will be in the next version. So it, it will be like a, a chain abstraction, multi-chain pool with a, like stable coins. So when you can, uh, like, it, it will be not a trading pair. So it will be like a liquidity which you can uh, use for the borrowing uh, mechanism and you can solve a, a higher amount. So you don't need to split like order every time when you have like one million between all the resolvers but you can use this liquidity uh, in the borrow and lending protocol. Thank you. <laughs>